Hi friends, hello and welcome to my channel, The Composite Canvas. I am a test professional working with an MNC with 8 plus years of experience in software testing. Welcome to today's session. In this video, I'll share my experience with you guys on how the online advanced level test analyst exam is conducted. Also in the later half of the video, I will tell you a few important things to keep in mind which are really helpful before you register for the exam. So do watch till the end. There are two ways of appearing for the exam. Either you can appear externally as an individual or you can or if you work for a corporate company, then you can opt for the corporate option. So since I work for a corporate company, I went through the corporate option while registering. To know more details on how to register for the exam, do watch my video. I will link it in the description below. So now, after you have successfully registered, you will get an email which would be an invitation to take the ISTQB CTAL TA exam, which would contain the test details such as test duration and the test start time and also it would have the link to the test. Things to know before you begin the test. Now once the test starts, you cannot pause it in the middle. The test will continuously run for 120 minutes. Now, before you begin, you must read all the instructions very carefully and refrain from indulging in any kind of unfair practices during the test. After you're done with reading, your system will be checked for compatibility before the exam. And the note is, if you don't appear for the exam, you will have to pay rupees 590 as the rescheduling charges. Now I will tell you the steps which are to be followed during your exam. So the first is you need to click on the exam link. Then you need to create your account. After you have created your account successfully, you, your laptop compatibility will be checked and this may take few minutes. Then you need to click on enter test. After you have clicked on enter test, you need to fill in the required details. While filling these details, keep a soft copy of your government identity card with your photo ready, which is to be uploaded in the form of JPEG size less than 1 MB. And the same ID needs to be shown to the greeter for verification. So after this process is done, you need to wait for the greeter, which may take 5 to 10 minutes time. You can also ask your queries to the greeter. Keep your phone handy and once the greeter instructs you, switch it off. You have to switch it off. Once the greeter approves your environment, you have to click the start test. Now, once you click on the start test, a proctor will be invigilating you throughout your exam. If you have any queries during your exam, then you can simply raise your hand or you can say hello and the proctor will get back to you. So these are the requirements which are needed during the test. So the first is the government identity card. This has to be the same which you have uploaded and you have to show them to the greeter or the proctor whenever asked. Then you need to keep a mirror handy so that the edges of the laptop are checked through the mirror. The third is full screen sharing should be always on during your test. And the fourth is that you are allowed to use erasable chalkboards or marker boards or blank paper but with pencil for doing your rough work. And if you're using a paper and a pencil, you need to erase it before submitting your test and then show it to your proctor. Now the most important question, when do we get the results after you're appearing for your exam? So those who have registered using public option will get their results mailed within 48 hours. And for those who are corporate candidates will get their result sent to the coordinator, which takes about a week. And when do we get the certificates? So the certificates will be delivered at your postal address within two months from your exam date. And I would like to tell you that this ISTQB certificate, which is for test advanced level, is valid for lifetime, which is indeed a good thing. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.